You know, Armitage has been playing the character of Sheldon Cooper since he was eight years old, but now leaving the role, many people say he's been pushed out. Looking at Ian's history on Young Sheldon, it's important to know that Jim Parsons wasn't actually the first pick to play Sheldon Cooper. The person who was the original pick for Sheldon was actually his co-star Johnny Galecki, but he didn't like it, so he took the role of Leonard and Jim Parsons took Sheldon. Jim Parsons had a gradually bigger role in the show as it went on, where he ended up the highest paid member of the cast, getting $1 million per episode and made $24 million in the final season. Johnny Galecki said him and Kaylee Coco wanted to keep the show going, but when Jim Parsons said they were done, the show was over. For Ian Armitage, he's actually had the opposite experience on Young Sheldon, where even though he's the title character in the final season his screen time is down over 50%. The reason really comes down to Montana Jordan who plays the older brother who was originally only planned to be a side character but now in the new season has more screen time than Ian Armitage does. This is likely due to them doing a spin-off show with him and Emily Osmond and they are trying to build up to that. It also has to do with Armitage being visibly older and harder to work the story with. But hey he's still had an amazing run and with that I'm Charles Peralo. please subscribe if you learned something.